Hi there, I'm John from cncroi.com and today we're going to make a solid ash house number sign. Now obviously this house number sign made out of a solid ash slab is not finished. You can tell from the shininess there's lots of resin, residue on the surface from the laser. There's also pencil markings all over it. And now it's to communicate with the customer regarding uh, what side we do the engraving on and so forth and and the dimensions now this is unfinished because the customer is also a really good woodworker They just don't have a laser so for for them They wanted us to do the laser work and then they put their blood sweat and tears into The finished sign after we're done our part of it And it's kind of odd to do that kind of work because I really enjoy making these ha these house number signs And I really enjoy working with wood especially live edge so to finish not finish something or just go halfway is a little bit tough because I'm like I just got to do a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more but I also have to respect the customer in that they want to put their own stuff into their own house number sign as well so the first step for this was actually to run it through my bandsaw which you see right there and the reason for that is because this slab was really big it had a lot of warping on it it was left out in the field for who knows how long so it needed to be cut down to size something more manageable easier to carry but more importantly, I cut it down to size because I decided to plane it. Whenever we do custom laser work on wood, one thing that you have to keep in mind is that the wood has to be relatively flat. In this case here is a piece of live edge, and right now it's totally dead flat, which is great. But when I first got this thing, it was anything but. So the new purpose of the bandsaw was to remove all the excess material. Um, There's some rotting and other issues with the piece of wood. And after I did that, I was supposed to do just the laser work right away. The problem is, when I did all the bandsaw work, I noticed how severely warped the board actually was that we were supposed to work with. And the problem with the laser is that if something is warped, what happens is the focus changes. So let's just say we got a bump in the wood. Let's just say this is a warping. So let's say I focus it to be here. Because uh, the, the way the laser works, it's a focus. It's, you know, like upside, or not upside down. It's like a V going straight down. And this little point here is where stuff happens. All of this stuff is not enough power uh, to cause any real issues with the wood. So let's actually look the edge here. So what happens is that it will do an amazing result here with the laser. And then because the focus changes, there is no two-way feedback system for focus while it's working. The, en the engraving actually happens less deep or more deep or what happens is you get a lot of smoking and not engraving or you know very inconsistent results. So after the bandsaw work, I saw that and I go, I gotta fix this right away. So I ran it through the planner. And the reason for the planner is to make something totally dead flat. Now what's great is at the same time, it's also not sanding, but it's removing the top surface of grime on there as well. So it gives me a nice clean surface to laser engrave. It gives me a flat surface to laser engrave.
I often get questions from customers wondering about how you go about going from a, an idea to a finished item. Let's say in this case here's a house number sign out of ash. Now for this project here, what we did is we designed, the customer said, okay, we want a tree. So we find a vector art for a tree. Uh, they sent a couple, this is, was the best one that would work with this material at this dimensions. Um, then they go ahead and pick a font and we do the design in the layout for that because we need a vector file and from that vector file we send it over to the laser we position it as you can see here add the borders um, if they're needed in this case they are and after that we get the laser to do the work sometimes I mask the live edge sometimes I don't it really depends on what we're doing with it in this case here this top surface needs to be sanded anyways uh, there's very little resin on the surface of it if you look at it and I actually engraved it extra deep so that the customer can put a little bit more blood, sweat, and tears into the sanding process and uh, get a really nice clean finish. Now I'll get pictures of this after it's finished maybe in a couple of weeks so it'll be past the time of this video. But it gives you an idea of what we can do on Live Edge because we have that capability from traditional woodworking all the way to CNC equipment. when I play in this house number sign it revealed a really nice surface but it revealed it on both sides so here's side A as you can see there's an A here and let me flip it around here's side B that we did nothing on because it's gonna go uh, probably on a garage wall or something like that so the reason why we have A and B is because I found that the biggest all the times we have problems is because I made an assumption you know, I would assume that the customer wants this side or I'd assume the customer wants this orientation or this font or whatever it is. So generally the process from 
initial concept to finished product, any kind of assumptions are taken out because that means that we both know exactly what we're going to make. You know what we're going to make, you know how much it's going to cost you, and we know what material we're going to use, you know what side we're going to use. Because the majority of our customers, we never actually meet them in person. Everything is done through internet, email, phone calls, and so forth. So it's very important to have everything laid out very, very straightforward. And even during production, send off update photos so they can see, okay, yeah, this is coming along well. Um, can you tweak this? Can you tweak that? That kind of stuff. So if you're looking for a custom house number sign made out of Live Edge, Corian, literally any material, contact me at cncri.com.